But Seeker's not perfect for any circumstance. The Seeker goes up! No. Mini Rocket Tube. I gotta upgrade the Mini Rocket Tube. I gotta use it as many locations as I can because the Mini Rocket Tube will only get better. The Seeker's already as good as it's gonna get. That's old times. That's the past. And there's uh, the cover Moby that Colin made. That's right. That never received an art treatment. Man, I'm getting mad experience here. I'm gonna... Actually, I don't have to kick off that trap because I got a nanotech upgrade. But I will... It kicks off anyway, actually. No. If you walk through, nothing happens. Oh, okay. It's a trap. It's a straight-up trap. It's but a trap! I'm a big fan of the uh, effect, so I'm going to kick it off anyway. Is that effect as good as you remember it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a bit worse than I remember. Uh, what would you do different if you had to change that? That lightning just doesn't look very good. It's too random, and it's too uh, it's too busy. Too random. Too random. It, it really just needs to... Uh, it needs to be a little, little bit more structured, and it just needs... It, it just looks like lines. It doesn't look like lightning. Got it. Got it. it was, was that the first heartbreak for you, Tony? That that wasn't as good as you remember? No, because it was still pretty good. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm still amazing. But... I could do better. I could do better now. Man, these helicopters are brutal. Oh, they are firing your last effect ever. Yeah, everything everything uses uh, my one uh, my one effect so that I did. We've we've uh, we've alluded to this a few times, but never actually directly talked about it. Talk about your your last effect ever. Um, well, it's actually the one that appears in the Insomniac Museum. Uh, there's a projectile effect that appears in the Insomniac Museum, which is basically just four or five textures that are done and. Uh, you can just vary up those textures and uh, their scroll rate and things like that. And it ends up looking not completely different, but different enough that I could use it over and over and over again without having to redo a projectile. Now, the projectile was, uh, it, it could have a particle at the beginning, right? Right. A particle at the end. Right. And then up to two scrolling textures in the middle? Yes. Uh, and that was how you made pretty much all of these effects. That pretty much. It's very versatile. Well, well played, sir. I think I did a good job. Certainly came in handy for me, as we found out in previous episodes. <laughs> that stupid guy. God damn Maybe it. Maybe you should use a weapon that's good for a solo guy. <sighs> don't tell me it's what to do. It's almost like you haven't played this game in a long time. I'm succeeding right now. I don't know if you've realized. I am succeeding. Oh, shit. Holy what shit. What the hell? This was... Why would he do this? <laughs> no, that's not bouncer, the weapon I wanted. Bouncer. God damn it. There's so much jumping. <laughs> oh man, this makes me feel so good. Man, if I didn't know how to strafe, I would be totally lost right now. You would you would probably be dead, that's true. So some of my skills are carrying over. I haven't completely forgotten. I, I think this is this is the boss fight now. I've done, I've succeeded. Look at that. I've passed the level. Alright, high five. High five. Look at that. That was yeah. great times. That was a good level. Man, that was. was fun. I I I'm I'm sad I, I'm not able to play this game more, because I had a really good time doing that. Right, and you only died twice. No, yeah. once. Twice. Once, really. Well, there was the once with the charge boots. That doesn't count. And the once at the beginning. That's and the, the once. once on the bridge. No. Yeah. No. I don't know. That, that, we'll let the videotape be the judge of that. I think I did a good job. I think I did a great job. The on to the boss. Peter Hastings' boss. Indeed. Yeah, I helped, uh, I helped do some prototyping. Of this boss, like uh, uh, we didn't know what a boss would feel like, you know, being both down on the ground and up on the tops of buildings. Right. Uh, and that was sort of a big open question. And since I was coding at that point, I was able to help a little bit. You know, like I had a boss sliding around. I did, it, he didn't look great, but he's good enough. Whoa. Wow, dude. What the? Wow. Not me. Roberto. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and maybe we'll get another wallpaper that says this is Roberto's bug. Is it bad for me to shill for for uh, wallpaper? No, that's totally fine. So, th I mean, this was a tough fight to do. Not only because you, we do take you on to a different level and stuff like that, but since it's turret-based, you're not really taking damage. So we had to find a way to make that turret gameplay difficult, and that's really these bombs. And a lot of people didn't like that they weren't able to focus attention on the boss, and they had to worry about these bombs. But in you know when whenever you're doing turret gameplay, you pretty much have to do that, right? Because you need to you need to have the target that you're shooting at 
and then you have to have something that draws his attention away. And usually that's like a cannonball right. or, or something like that. And it's one of the reasons why making turret gameplay that is uh, unique and original and varied is so hard. Uh, is there's not a lot of tricks in your, you know, uh, in the in the bag of tricks. Oh, get out of there! Get out of there! I, I get time to move. I need some so life. How would you, how would you ever know he was going to come over and blow the shit out of that thing? By failing. Just the first time you just die. Do we have any life here? We've got to have life. Why would we put life here? Oh, he's right there. I better move. You want to move into a wall? <laughs> I'll bet you the life's all up on the roof. So, I mean, there's a couple problems here. I mean, for one, the turret gameplay is 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 weird, for one. Um, and then the other problem is, it's a giant robot. And so you have to make him feel powerful, and you have to make it feel like a big deal. And one of the ways to do that is to give him a lot of life. But you give him a lot of life, and now all of a sudden the fight's very long. And difficult, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean... He's got a lot going for him in the powerful and strong department in that he's huge. Right. Here. So we probably could have given him half his hit points and still had him feel pretty good. Undead. So now that's three three or four times that you died. Yeah, well. There's some health right there. Yeah, but that was... I didn't... I don't know what happened. I wasn't able to get it before. Maybe you're getting pity health now. Maybe Possibly. the game is act tuning. That's more. fine. I'll take it. I'll take the pity health. Because this is a boss fight, and the more times you lose to him, That's the right. easier he'll be. So maybe you should just die a few times. Yeah. <laughs> Since you clearly can't handle it. So yeah, I mean, it's 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 a difficult situation where it's 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 hard to win when you have to make a giant robot. Where it's like, well, he want him to be big and strong and powerful, but if you kill him in three hits, then he's not big and strong and powerful. But if the fight takes ten minutes, people are going to be like, well, the fight took ten minutes. You know what I think uh, I would do differently about this boss now is uh, I would have him only fire out uh, two of those at a time right? Mm. and have longer intervals between them so that you could focus on him and then he would uh, he would throw those out and then you you know then it was change focus time but then as a reward for dealing with those then you could shoot him for a little while. Right. You know? I think it just sort of feels unrelenting to uh, to be constantly focusing on the the bombs. The bombs yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's it's hard to it's it's difficult because one of the one solution that you could do is just vary up the gameplay a little bit more and not have it be this for so long over and over and over again. But of course, that's a lot more work. Right. You could say halfway through he summons in a bunch of enemies. And well, not even halfway through. through because I mean, like if if instead of just doing this phase over and over and over and over and over again, if he would do this. But then the next time you got into a turret is a little bit different. And he then, would add an ex additional attacks. Right. Or something like that. You're right. He doesn't ramp up. Yeah. Oh, so that's how you know. He melts it slowly. Right into his crotch. Right into his feet. I sure showed him. Ow, 25% health gone. No. I, yeah. This is going to be a long fight. It's going to be an episode by itself, I think. Uh, should we talk about Cowboys and Aliens? <laughs> uh, no, that would violate the rule. The chronological rule? No, the don't talk shit rule. <laughs> Though I guess I have now done it by mentioning no, the rule. Officially talked shit, yes. You, you could talk about Captain America. Captain America was great. Love Captain America. You won't have to violate the rule to talk about For anybody America. who doesn't know me, uh, Captain America is the best and my favorite and uh, the movie was so brilliant on many levels. Did you see Captain America? No, I didn't see. Oh no, Jesus! He doesn't always fire that laser. Sometimes he just punches you. You're messing out if you haven't seen Captain America, Internet. Oh, dude. I probably shouldn't just be. I, the problem is I'm playing around with the camera as I hit the jump pad, and I probably shouldn't. Because then horrible, horrible bugs. <sighs> yeah. Happen. Okay. That, then I give Roberto something to blame. Roberto, why does the camera do that? Because you're playing around with the camera while you're on the jump pads. It's a problem with the thrust pads. It's not a problem with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the Roberto impression. You know, he's going to give you a call tomorrow, and he's going to be like, I don't talk like that. <laughs> we love you, Roberto. That would make him super uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. So he does that. He varies it up. He varies up the way he destroys the turret. 50% now. 
Only three and a half more hours to go before the boss <laughs> fight is done. You know, actually, if he, uh, if he only fired a couple of these out at the beginning and ramped up to something like this by the end, that would, yeah. that would actually be cool. But yeah, as it stands, the gameplay is pretty similar all throughout the fight. Dude, what is he doing? He's throwing a car at me. Oh, really? The giant robot fight? He just threw a car yeah. at you? I didn't even realize we were ripping that off in Spyro. <laughs> did you? Did you remember that? No, I didn't recall that. That is not the first time, you, or, or that that uh, eighty six was not the first time you coded a robot that threw a car to play. Oh shoot, he's right there. Ah! Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> By the way, if anyone heard me say that, don't buy Spyborgs. Just don't. <laughs> don't go play it. It's not worth it. It'll just embarrass us. Or buy it. Do a let's play of it, and then we can listen to you talking shit about how horrible it is. Although that one guy who did the let's play actually kind of liked it. A lot of people like that game, Mike. I think you're being too hard on the game. A lot of people in Europe liked the game. <sighs> Not that there's anything wrong with Europe, it's just the version we shipped in Europe was better. I needed to clarify because it sounded like I was saying there's something wrong with Europe. And I love the people in Europe. It should be known, noted. Um... I could start reading from War and Peace. <laughs> uh, I think people will be shocked to, to learn that this guy actually used to have more hit points. <laughs> you tuned him down? I this? didn't tune him down. Peter did. But he used to be... This fight used to be longer. And it was tuned down to this. And even that was... Uh, was uh, People were fighting to keep him at his old health. If I recall correctly. People were fighting for everything. I, I can't even remember at this point. In good-naturedly fighting. Well, I mean, not fighting so much as, you know, making pulling hard for, yeah, pulling hard for their ideas. Yeah, making an argument for, you know, for playing devil's advocate. And then, you know, when you don't get your way, crapping in someone's desk drawer. Yeah, well, that's what you do. That's how you get your way. Either that or, or you take a picture at your friend's computer with his mouse. Then you take another picture with you putting the mouse in your pants. And then you put those pictures on his desktop. See, so he has to use the mouse and then see. Right. Ah, come on! I need some life. Where's my life? I know I had some life just hanging around on the floor. Or you could just take out the remaining small bit of his health. No, because I, I, if I died at this stage, that would suck. Oh no, we would just cut. We would just cut all that out. Suck for me, not for. I don't care about them. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it in big letters yeah. across the top of the uh -huh. screen. Tony does not care about you. Not, not at all. Not even a little bit. What have they ever so done for me? Good. Nothing. <laughs> Besides buy your games and make it so that you can make a living doing things that you love? Yeah. To be fair, to be fair though, they're buying their ga my games because I'm excellent at making them. They're not uh, doing it as a favor to me. So sh maybe we should, instead of developer commentary, we should call this Tony's Ego. <laughs> you okay, Clank? Wow. You okay, Clank? Woo! You okay, Clank? <laughs> no, she's a hottie. She is. He uses the Lancer to get her out. He's got big rockets and super bombs. Why does he use the first weapon he got in the game? I know why. Why? Because it's the only weapon we know he has. Oh, that's <laughs> clever. Ah, yeah. That's a good point. I yeah. never thought about that. That's pretty good. He uses the Lancer because we can guarantee you have the Lancer. Every other weapon, we're not necessarily sure that they bought. I think we gave you the gravity bomb. Right, but I mean, it doesn't make sense but, to yeah, throw the gravity bomb. Right, that there. would hurt her. Right. Oh, God, Tony. It's this level. <laughs> Was that a factory or a facility? Uh, it's a facility because it's floating over a death plane. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be a water plane. Because there's a lot of indoor warehouses on there. So, but it's still a facility. Yeah, if there's any outdoor parts to it, it's, it's a facility. facility. Got it. Uh, especially if they're outdoor parts with a death point. Oh, dude, I'm not looking forward to that fucking level. <laughs> so, I guess we're going to go to my shitty level. Uh, I think we're done here. Uh, we did the grind rail, we did the boss, we did the enemies. I think we're done. There's only two sides. Oh, I guess the boss was the third segment. So, uh, for Ration Clank Going Commando Developer Commentary, I'm Tony Garcia. And I am Mike Stout. And we'll see you next time.